sec. sec. Yo. Yo, Yo. <laughs> what's, what's up, up dudes? dudes? How you doing? How you doing? What's, what's up, guys? guys? Sorry, Sorry about, about that. that. Fucking have to mute my, my, my fucking audio, audio because, because I don't have headphones. Um, yeah, yeah, so, so yeah, yeah, it took, it took me, me, yeah, sorry, it took me, me like, like fucking two, two hours, hours to turn on stream here. I just <clears> wanted to go check in. in. Well, I wanted to check in all the way and get food and stuff like that. Um. Yo, Yo Chris Ors, Ors, I saw, I saw that, that you are one, one of the, the two... two. Hold on. on. There you go. All right. Sorry. It was echoing. Chris Ors, I saw that you are one of the two people that actually have the $50 members. <laughs> and unfortunately... Wait. Is that better? All right. Unfortunately, YouTube is fucking retarded, and I can't see that you have that i saw it because i looked at my like dashboard like behind and in my account somewhere i looked at my dashboard but from the chat i can't you there's no difference between any tier sub they all look the same so <laughs> yo honestly i recommend to not become a 50 dollars tier until they fix that Obviously, Chrysors, I'll do whatever you want me to do so you don't feel scammed because I can't refund the sub. But, you know, motherfucking ass, I can send you 50 bucks if you want and then you cancel it. I mean, I can do that because I don't want you to feel scammed. So you just let me know. But um, let me see. Man, you're doing serial double EQ. Thank you, CJ. I appreciate that, homie. Thank you, dude. Fucking thank you, random fucking Mike. Appreciate that, dudes. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know, fucking, yeah, I told, I told YouTube, I told one of their devs to fucking fix that issue, and they said, I'll bring it up to the team, so that means never, <laughs> probably, I don't know, bro, I gotta, look at this tan that I have from climbing that fucking mountain, dude, that's ridiculous, like, invite me down to Japan, oh, well, that's a lot more than $50, homie, but hey, <laughs> um, yo, I'm fucking so dead right now still, like, my body hurts. My back hurts from carrying that heavy ass backpack. My legs hurt. My feet hurt. Everything fucking hurts. It's fucking dog shit. Yeah, I know Neb. YouTube is YouTube's been fucking up, dude. I don't know what's wrong with YouTube, but um, yeah, no, dude. Not seeing the sunset was awful. When my phone died, the fucking climbing down the mountain was the worst. Fucking, it was worse than going up. Climbing down the mountain was worse than going up because. You have to, you're, everything's at a slope, and it was like every step was killing my knees, because I have to like lean back, so I don't get fucking, you know, fucking hurt, trying to step down, and my phone's all fucked up, look at this, holy shit, hold on, it just turned on, alright, well, it just turned on, <laughs> All right, never mind. Oh, never mind again. All right, hold on. Look at this. I'm hitting the I'm hitting the, the button here. And it's not turned back on. I don't know. It's too... Oh, there you go. But, no. No, it's, it's too inconsistent here. I don't know. It's pretty fucked. I think they got... I think there's, like, water got inside of it or something. 
So, I have no idea. It's, sometimes it does that, sometimes it turns on for like a few seconds, and then it like turns off. I don't know. It's pretty fucking fucked. <laughs> How do you memorize the keyboard? So, you just turn it on. Yeah, it's on again, but it's scuffed as fuck. Look at that. It's the, look at the screen glitching, dude. This shit's so fucked. But, so basically when the phone was black, I would just unlock it and then open Twitter and then type with the black screen. That's how, I don't know, that's just how I did it. So you're telling me the waterproof phone with a huge crack and it got water in it? I know, dude. Isn't that crazy? Uh, let me see. My phone broke. I memorized my keyboard. No, it's true. I mean, what you mean? Okay, how many... Do you guys... Are you telling me none of you have your keyboard memorized? A, like, imagine typing and texting all day every day and then not memorizing your keyboard. Okay, can you type on your computer, on, on your computer without looking down? Probably, right? So, it's the same thing. It's motherfucking... It's just typing without looking at it. Like, it's not that hard. The hardest part was opening up Twitter because I didn't remember where it was in my apps. So, I was sitting in the in the hotel laptop, or I was sitting in the hotel lobby with my laptop, and I was literally, I copied and pasted what I wanted, so I, I typed what I wanted to say in Samsung Notepad, and then I copied that, you know, all from memory, because it's very easy to open up the Notepad, and then I copied that, and then I was sitting there for an hour, hitting every, se like, section on my phone, until I opened up Twitter, um, with the black screen. And then I caught, and then I was pasting it every time I would hit one part of the screen, until I have, until with my laptop I noticed that I finally made the tweet. So yeah, that was fucking awful, and it was just the worst thing ever. But not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday was one of the worst days of my life. <laughs> it, like after I came down from the mountain, and let me tell you, <laughs> oh, what's up, Blade? <laughs> oh, they use me, Blade. What's up, dude? How the fuck are you doing, homie? Fucking. Figure it out. Um, okay, so yesterday, thank you, dude. Yesterday, I, I come down from the mountain, and I'm trying to, I get my bags from the luggage holding place at the, bo the, the bottom of the mountain. And, sorry, I'm so tired. And uh, I try to go check into a hotel. First of all, the hotel's a mile away. You know, the, the nearest, cheapest fucking hotel. like 50 bucks, a mile away. And I'm like, all right. So I get into a taxi at the bus station, and I said, can we go to this hotel? And this motherfucker only speaks Japanese, and that's fine. He, you know, he's like, Japanese only. Like, I don't speak, like, he didn't say that, but he's just, that's what he was implying. He's yelling at me in Japanese, and I'm like, all right, well, can I go to this hotel? I say the hotel name in Japanese, and he still is like, what are, like, he doesn't know what I'm saying, I think. And then I give him a translator, and then he's like, no, he's like, get that out of my face. And I'm like, well, how do I talk to you? It's like, all right, I don't speak your language. I get it, but, like, work with me here. And he's, like, some old guy. I don't know. He, was just, he told me to get the fuck out of the taxi. And that was the only taxi. So I was like, all right. So I walk a mile to the fucking hotel with my phone fucked up so I can't call for anything. And, yeah, so I walk a mile to the hotel. I get to the hotel. They said, you can't check in for another seven hours. And I said, you're fucking with me. So... I literally sat there in front of that. Well, first of all, then I tried sitting in the hotel lobby, right? For seven hours, like try to sleep on the couch or something. They told me I can't sit in the lobby. They're just like, you can't sit in the lobby. Like we have to, our maids have to clean the lobby. And I said, what the fuck? All right. So I go sit outside because there's nothing to fucking do in this tiny ass town. There's just, my fucking knee hurts. I'm tired. Everything fucking sucks. I'm like, there's nothing to do. I, just, I sit in front of the hotel for literally four hours before she's like, oh, your room's clean from the maid. You can check in now. And I said, oh, well, thanks for not making me wait another three hours. And then I fall asleep. So, and then, but yeah, then, you know, it doesn't end there. My phone's fucking broken. I had to figure out how to get to Tokyo from Mount Fuji. That was rough. I walked the mile back to the bus station and asked like three people to give me help here and I figured it out. But yeah, not having a phone in a place that don't speak English, worst thing ever. Don't ever fucking do it. But Alright, yo, fucking, so, I don't know, that's how my days went, not very good, now I'm good, I gotta figure out how to fix my phone, apparently there's no place in Japan you can, where you fix your phone, like a Samsung, they all fix iPhone only, I don't know why, isn't Samsung Japanese, 
who the fuck knows? They're Japanese. They don't fix their own fucking phones. They only fix iPhones. So, I don't know how I'm going to get this motherfucker fixed. Because, guess what? If, even if I want to use the live view, I need my phone to log in to my live view. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, dude. Because everything's on a two-step. I might be able to recover it and go through my email. But I don't really remember or know. I don't know. I'm pretty sure... I'm gonna. I found an Android place before I went live here. I don't know if they fix I, uh, S9s though, because all the Android places I've been to so far only fix Nexus, like a Nexus. I don't know what a Nexus is. They just say they fix Nexuses. I'm like, what the fuck's the Nexus? It's like an iPad or something. So I don't know, dude. Uh, Samsung makes iPhone screens. Well, then I really don't know. But yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out, dude. If anything, I'll, I will, uh, if anything, I'll, I'll just contact Live View if I can't log into it and figure it out, but that's not good. Nexus is Google's phone on Android or Samsung? I don't know. They say, I say Android, they say only Nexus. I'm like, the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what that is. Thank you, Jolly Penguin. I appreciate that, homie. And yes, Blade. Thank you, dude. Um, you should put Kim's number as a backup two-step. I fucking should, but to be fair... I don't know. I'm just. I don't like doing that. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I think I might be able to log into Live View. I don't know. Like I said, I, I'll figure it all out before tomorrow. It's not a big deal. But thank you, James. I appreciate it. Um, when do you fly back? I don't really know yet. Um, honestly, uh, I don't know. I was thinking about. Um, well, I was thinking. Okay, so. Australia, don't really know if Australia is going to be a thing right now. I do want to make, I want to make it to there. I don't know if I can right now. There's no good flights. They're all expensive as fuck. I think it's something I have to book in advance. I don't think I can just fly to Australia without spending an arm and a leg. I think it's something I have to get in advance. Um, Korea is a possibility for sure. I could do Korea at any point, honestly. Um, I was thinking about going back just to hang out with, uh, well, hang out with Kimberly and just like, chill for a couple days and then traveling somewhere else but i don't know maybe not that seems like a lot of work but i, I don't know I, I don't want to just be like i feel bad being gone for like a month uh without seeing the dog and then kimberly's have, has to take care of the dog like i don't know i just feel bad but you know i don't know i'll figure it i'll figure it out like i don't want to just leave her for a month that's kind of shitty Flying from Seoul to, to Tokyo costs ninety dollars. I looked it up; it was like two hundred, but maybe you saw a different one than me. She understands, though, right? I mean, she gets it, but still, being you know, leaving somebody alone for a month with in a place she has no friends, kind of shitty. But you know, I think I'll go to Korea for at least a little bit, and then before I go back. But I kind of like Japan. I don't even want to leave Japan, dude. I'd, I'd rather just stay fucking stay here in Japan, honestly, but. Thank you, Manny. I appreciate that, homie. But, um, you know, we'll see. Like I said, Korea is like, what? Korea is an hour and a half, two hours away. Maybe stay, you know, three days in Korea before I go back. I don't know. I have to see how much flights are from Korea to, to Austin. It might be cheaper if I fly into Vegas from, from here or Korea and then go to Vegas to Austin. Because flying into Vegas is always cheaper than anywhere else. You go to Italy again, or maybe Ireland. Uh, Italy was awful, but I've never been to Ireland, so maybe. My phone broke, I have memory the keyboard. Yes, it did. Thank you. Um, I think you'd like Korea more. Only catches the locals want you to touch their, your hair. Well, that's fine. They can touch my hair. Why well, would I like Korea more? I mean, it's just like Japan, right? What are you smoking? Uh, it's just like a, some kind of vape that I bought. I don't know. I just thought it would be like... Uh, it's tasty. It's pretty tasty. It's like a strawberry vape. Strawberry vape. Do you miss Gary? Yeah, I miss Gary. I miss Gary. I wish Gary would stay with me, but it's fine. It is what it is, whatever. Let me send you a new Samsung Galaxy S10. I mean, I'm going to try and repair mine, but I mean, hey, if you want to send me a free S10, I won't say no to that. Could get broke, though. It could, uh, it might just break, so be careful. Um, I was... Yo, Joseph, if you really want to send me 50 
dollars in JetBlue credits, I'm not going to say no to that. But since I'm flying internationally, I don't think JetBlue has a flight. So I don't think uh, it's going to work. But I'll take your credits if you don't want them. <laughs> Quebec travel stream with Kim afterward. Um, I don't know. If I were to do a stream with Kimberly traveling somewhere, it would probably be Europe and not Canada because there are still some places in Europe that I need to visit that I have not visited yet. So, Let me know address of mail place. Well, Laurel, if you send that, how how long until it would actually arrive because I would need to you know if it's like going to take five days to go international like that's you know not worth it so like I'm just not going to be here in five days you know what I mean so um you really need to do Australia Chad but understand you have a dog to look after yo I, I, we're going to Australia at some point I just I need to book it in advance because I like honestly like the dog and Kimberly like they could wait an extra four days if I went to Australia but it's like it's like I'm not gonna spend a fuckload of money just to be in Australia for a short amount of time that's and get like a fucking dog shit flight I know I've been hearing it for years I know I need to what I'm gonna do is book a flight to Australia in advance so it's cheaper and not a dog shit flight and then we have a set date and then it's not gonna be torture so that's what I'll probably end up having to do because it's been years I said, I've been saying for two years we're going to Australia. Why can't Australia be located not in the middle of the ocean? Like, why is it the farthest thing, the farthest place away from everything else? That's the fuck. That's the problem with Australia. It's just so fucking far from everything that going to it is so out of the way. Like, it's not on the way to anything. It's not, like, why the fuck would you ever go to Australia from anywhere else in the world? It's like going to another planet, you know what I mean? It's just ridiculous. Cause Australia's content, but it's not like not really like what? You have Melbourne and like the in the outback that I can't stream. What is in Australia? The only reason why I'd go to Australia is to see fucking Chad and to see fucking viewers. Why well, I would never go to Australia if I wasn't a streamer. What the fuck's in Australia? <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, Mel Melbourne and Sydney. Then what, you know, kangaroos? It's like, it's just not worth the, any, it, everywhere to get to Australia from anywhere in the world, like a 20 hour flight for some fucking reason. And, you know, it's not worth it. I don't think there's anything in Australia worth taking a 20 hour flight for. You know, New Zealand, that's, now that's what I'm talking about. They got good nature. But Australia, okay. Kangaroos and desert. Maybe some fucking like tribesmen. But nothing else is really catching my eye there. Thank you, Dakins. Appreciate that, homie. Go to Korea. It's way different. Just like Canada, different from the USA. Well, Canada is not that much different from the USA, though. That's the thing. So I feel like Korea is going to be basically Japan, but with more Western people. I Like, I think, right? And then some, like, you know, maybe some, like, North Korean propaganda or something. I don't know. I'll stay a member if you give me three opinions of things I can make you do for scabosment. Yeah, I mean, what's up, Chris Lord? Just, uh, what's your Twitter, dude? Chris Lord. Just let me know, man, and we can talk about it. Aussies are cool people, honest and fair. Well, I mean, this is not worth a 20 hour flight, though. <laughs> but, you know, I'll go just because I said I was going to go. Thank you, Knight. Appreciate that, homie. Knight is my prime. What's up, man? Open gun range out to Japan. Stevie G's got a 50 cal. I'm down for that. I mean, I've never. I think I've only shot a 50 cal once. It's probably, I think it was like a Desert Eagle or something. I don't know, but I'm down for that. Dare you to walk the Great Wall of China? How how long is the Great Wall of China? It can't be any worse than climbing fucking Mount Fuji. That was the worst thing I've ever done. It was so hard. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. The worst thing I've ever done. I mean, great accomplishment, sure. I didn't even get to see the sunset or the sunrise. So I just felt like that was a waste of time. I could tell people that I've climbed the mountains. That's great, but I didn't even get a. I didn't even get to get a good picture. Like I didn't even get a, a picture of me of me on the top because it was 
there was nothing to see. It was all cloud. So not even a good Instagram picture. Just nothing. Just, all right, I climbed it. All right, let's get the fuck down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Walk the wall. Well, how long is the fucking wall? Eight, I'll show you eight hours from where you are right now. Yeah, but all the flights that I checked had, like, ridiculous connecting flights that made it, like, 20, 30 hours long. You should go to Stewart, Alaska. Yeah, right, dude. Yeah, right. How long until the two guys split up with you? Uh, I mean, it was only, like, two hours into it. The laws in New Zealand are weird. Just, like, anywhere else in the world, I guess. The branded stick would have been worth it more than the picture at the mountain. Nah, because you just buy those on fucking Amazon or something, probably. Like, eBay or some shit. Like, that's not proof. You know, pictures is all the proof that anyone needs. But I have the stream, so, I mean, I guess that's proof enough. Everest stream when? As soon as Everest gets 4G internet. <laughs> Otherwise, I ain't, cli I ain't climbing Everest for no fucking reason. I'll climb Everest or if, they, if I can stream it. Did I take the bus down? Nope, the bus. I was wrong. The bus is only at the base. There's no bus halfway into the mountain. I was wrong. I walked all the way down. It took me three hours. I fucking wanted to die. I hated it. I wanted to die. It, it was awful. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you this funny part of the story. So there's this little town that's right on the base of Mount Everest where the bus station is to get to the main town that's an hour away from where my hotel was. And, uh... Yeah, so they don't have ATMs in this, like, Mount Fuji little little town. And they don't speak English at all. And they don't take cash. And I don't have, I didn't have any cash in me. I only had a card. So, motherfucker, after I walk down from Mount Fuji, I get to this little fucking shitty-ass town. And I'm like, can I buy a fucking bus ticket to go to, to, go to the city to get my hotel and go to fuck to sleep? Because I'm tired. And they're like, cash only. And I'm like, I don't have any cash. And they said, sorry. I said, where's an ATM? They said, there is no ATM in this place. And I'm like, how the, f what do you mean? How the fuck do I get back? And they said, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like, they're fucking just, that's all they do. They do the X. You know, I'm trying to talk to them. They just do the fucking X. And, you know, they're not answering me. I'm just like, fuck. Like, no one speaks English. This is awful. So what I ended up having to do was going around asking Taurus, yo, can I have a hundred yen? So I had to get 2,000 yen for a fucking bus ticket. I went and asked like 10 people for fucking yen, dude. And I explained my story and was, yeah, I just asked for, I'm like, yo, can I have fucking money, dude? Like I have, they don't take card anywhere here. I couldn't even buy food. I couldn't even buy food. They have restaurants and shit. I couldn't even buy a drink or food or nothing. They had no ATM. Everywhere takes cash. I said, the fuck is, like, why? You're at a touristy-ass place on the the base of a mountain where only tourists go. But you don't take fucking cash? And you don't take card? And you have no ATM? They have a money exchange machine. Why the fuck would I carry around U.S. dollar with me to exchange for money? Just put an ATM. Yeah, so that was like an hour, that was like a, probably an hour, hour and a half of like begging for money to get the fuck out of that place. Yeah, if I was the only one there, I would have been sleeping on the street. I'm surprised they don't have an epidemic of homeless people fucking trapped tourists there, honestly. That was awful. Should have kept the coin pouch last time? I mean, sh yeah, but I just figured that, you know, in a touristy place, they take hard, or like if they don't, they have like a way to get back so you're not fucking stuck there. But, no, I was wrong. Yeah, put an ATM, motherfucking basic fees, you rich as fuck. Real life application of your skill set, bro, it was awful. I just, I had to literally, I didn't, now listen, I'd make a great homeless man. I'll say that, okay? After all these years begging for donations, I'd make a great homeless man. I made the people feel comfortable on giving me money, okay? And I was like, hey, listen. I'm trapped. I'm not a homeless person. Can I have 100 yen? <laughs> oh, man. What's up, Raw? How you doing, bro? You need a $25,000 permit to climb Everest? Uh, well, that's out of the question. Let me see. This might be a triggering question, but will you say what up to anyone in RV Trip 3 if it actually happens? Uh, listen, I just don't want anybody coming to my house. That's all. I just don't want anyone coming to my fucking house. 
Thank you, Shrek. Appreciate that, homie. Why does Gary look like Paul Walker? I don't know. Maybe he's Paul Walker. How long did it take you to get enough money to get back to the hotel? Like an hour, hour and a half, something like that. I wasn't really tr keeping track of time. I was so fucking tired. At that point, I was already awake for like 27, 28 hours. So I was already so fucking dead. You know, after 28 hours and climbing a mountain, I want to die. I slept last night for 16 hours. I shit you not. I was awake for over 30 hours by that point. And after climbing Mount Fuji, 16 hours. I went to sleep at, I believe, 1.45 in the afternoon. And I woke up at 5 a.m. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was sleeping for so long, dude. I woke up and my brain was numb from the amount of sleep that I had just gotten. And I'm, I want to say it was great. I loved That was the best sleep of my life. I felt so amazing. When I woke up, my, my, my head was feeling weird. But other than that, boy. Oh, boy, did I feel good. Thank you, Lil Fig. Appreciate that, homie. That sounds like... Climb out no summer to have to beg for you to go home. That's what I'm saying. Like, yesterday was probably one of the worst days of my life. I am not going to shit you. One of the worst. I will remember July 23rd, 2019... For the next 65 years. The vid from Voldstream was aged. It was four months behind. What do you mean? What vid? Thank you, Moonchild. Yeah, I, I just needed some sleep, dog. The painful path of curing Japan of its cash addiction? Yeah, bro. Japan needs to figure this shit out. Like, they got all this technology. Great-ass country. They take cash only. Like, suck my dick. <laughs> like... They take a card in the city, but not when in a place where they need to take card. No, not yet, Pop, but I'm definitely planning to before I leave. CX, where are they now? Oh, it's just a... Just a, one of those videos, like, don't even mind it any, don't even mind it, it's just one of them. Um, it's just clickbait shit. Cash is good, harder to trace people and catalog them like in China. Why the fuck would the Japanese government want to catalog their citizens? Like, who the fuck cares? Like, honestly. It's like the US, and people get all scared that the government is gonna, like monitor everything that you do like honestly this is what i have to say most people in the u.s are not important enough for the government to give a shit about okay like i'm not afraid of the government tapping into my shit because the government doesn't give a fuck about me why would they care i'm not a terrorist only terrorists care about what the government thinks about them i i, I feel like that's how it should be like i don't care if the government wants to look into all my shit i don't care go for it i'm not a fucking terrorist <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, now if they're, like, bugging me without telling me, like, maybe I would care, but I doubt it, even, because, like, what are they going to do? Unless they release it on, like, Twitter, like, Ice Poseidon talking to himself in private. But, they're not, like, they're not going to do that, though. You know what I mean? They're looking for terrorists. Like, I don't care. If they want they, they want to see me watching porn, I don't give a fuck. Uh, thank you, Adam West. Appreciate it, dude. I'm sure you're on still some sort of list. Well, I mean, even then, I don't, I don't really, like, I'm not a terrorist. So I don't care if the government wants to pry into my shit. You know, the only thing that you sh that people in the U.S. should be worried about is not the government, but the private companies. But I don't even think it's that bad. I don't think it's bad at all. Yes, companies monitor what you say and, like, what you search so they can send you advertisements. I personally don't think there's an issue with that. I don't I think that's good, because now you know what you want to buy. Oh, hey, I want to buy this new thing, and then boom, an advertisement for it. What's wrong with that? I don't think there's anything wrong. I think that's great. You know what I mean? I think, like, that's convenient as fuck. Oh, thank God, this advertisement of the thing I've been looking for. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you, AFE. Appreciate it, homie. I used to meet come and be smart. You underestimate? What do you mean? Underestimate what? Yeah, I think data security by, like, private companies, I don't know. Who gives a shit? Over-dramatized. No one gives a shit about the, the, the average fucking person. 
just let companies send you advertisements because you're probably going to need to buy the shit anyways. Make it easier for yourself. Why membership show so cheap? Because uh, they have different tiers now. Don't know how long the dollar one's going to last, but it's there for now. <laughs> the problem is apps selling your data because they hide things in terms and conditions. Well, what do you mean selling your data? Does that, I mean, that just means like what you're searching for and stuff, right? Like, I don't know what's, what's bad about them selling your data. And I don't really know what, what, what data you're talking about. People should be allowed to sell their own data and keep the profit themselves rather than being tricked into about, oh, so you mean like Facebook selling advertisers a picture of you and then using you as like a model for the advertisement or something like that? Um, personally, I don't think the person should be paid for that. You know what I mean? It's, that's how tar Target Ads gets you, your social networks sell your data to companies. Well, I don't think there's anything bad about that. I think that's convenient. I don't think there's... Why would you not want to get targeted ads? Do I want to see ads about dog food? Well, actually, that's a bad example. Do I want to see ads about dildos? No, I fucking don't. Do I want to see ads about a new gaming monitor? Sure. Thanks, Google, for selling my data. Now I know that there's a new gaming monitor out. You know what I mean? I'd rather get ads of stuff that I care about than stuff that I don't. Twitter even keeps track of statuses you type and delete it. It's creepy. I mean, it's just part of the platform. It's anywhere, you know? Thank you, Sparklights. Appreciate it, homie. What's bad is they don't say they do it. But who cares? Like, who cares? I don't know. They say it in the terms and conditions if you really care, I guess. But for the most part, it doesn't matter. You know? The only thing I can see an issue with, with is them selling your photos. Which, you know, and then people keep the profit for themselves. But to be honest, I don't think it's, uh, I think, you know, the company deserves to make money from their users because social media platforms have a hard time doing that. So I don't think they should get, the people should get money from that. China will recognize your photo and fine you for crossing a road late at night with no one around. Got to make sure that doesn't happen in the U S from private or government. I mean, honestly, Maybe you shouldn't cross the road late at night then. I don't know. Maybe that's just a good way to keep the country safer. You know? Now no one's going to break the law because they don't know if they're being watched. Maybe it's for the best. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate it, homie. Let me put it this way. If you had the opportunity to allow the government to facially recognize you everywhere um, in the country and point you out would you let them if it stopped all crime like no one committed crime anymore because they would be scared honestly i would probably let the government do that if it stopped all crime because i don't fucking break the law what am i to be scared of like i don't know like maybe it's like a breach of your privacy or like freedom or something but as long as you're not a bad person doing bad things, I don't think there's anything bad about it, you know? I would rather all crime to stop than for me to worry about getting a fucking traffic ticket, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you gotta weigh the odds here of, like, severity. I don't know, sounds like communism. They would just use masks. Okay, we have x-ray cameras, though, that can see how your skeleton formed to, I, to identify you as an individual. There we go. What is the point of different tier memberships? I have no idea. <laughs> um, but either way, um, no, I don't think it's communism. Communism's like something else, dude. It's like... You know, it's like the U.S. still has their freedom, but, like, now they can identify you easier. I mean, we already have that. Believe it or not, we already have that. You know, everyone wants to protect their identity. It's too fucking late. Like, bro, I can tell you straight up with my own experiences with dealing with the motherfucking-ass FBI over some literal bullshit. Um, yeah, they already know everything about you if they want to know everything about you. Like, there's, it's already too late. Like, who, like, it doesn't matter. Who gives a shit? All these people protesting, it doesn't matter. So, 
just throwing it out there. I mean, I went to uh, the airport a year ago, and uh, they were just checking up on something because I, I think I said this story before. Somebody had made a va uh, somebody had made a story not a va somebody made a, like a like not a story but like a like they made a Twitter about me. So somebody made a Twitter with my face, and they were saying questionable things, you know, impersonating to be me, I guess. And the FBI is kind of stupid, but they're kind of smart at the same time. So they're stupid because they thought that was actually me. But they're smart because they found out where I was going to be, where I was going, what I had been doing on Twitter lately, uh, just all right there. And I'm just like, all right, you guys have all this information. You know what I've been doing on Twitter, but you can't figure out that that's not me. And they're just like, we just have to make sure. And I'm like, okay. And then, you know, that was it. But yeah, so, I mean, I don't know how they got access to my Twitter, but they fucking, they knew all the shit. <laughs> Thank you, Bloodstone. Appreciate it, homie. There are cameras in America in use that can find you by plates in the car and you get charged for being that very amount. You know, I've never had a ticket sent to me in the mail, so I don't know about that. I've ran a lot of red lights. I have never had a ticket sent to me in the mail. Where I get a vape? I bought it from a vape store down the street. Thank you, Clarify. Appreciate it, homie. Do you think Jesus is actually a gray alien? I think Jesus is an alien, yes. I'd believe that more than what the Bible says. You're looking less pale today? I know. Dude, look. Look at that. That's mountain tan right there. I'm looking mad tan at the moment. FBI can access everything if needed. It's true. You got fans in the FBI for sure. Bro, I hope I do. They can help a brother out here <laughs> whenever I need it. Hey, that guy just backcharged me. His donation. FBI, help me out. No, I'm just kidding, but <laughs> could you imagine? Let me see. You're technically streaming early every day. I used to the FBI, bro. <laughs> the government knows all. Let me see. They got rid of traffic cameras because you can easily fight them. They weren't even considered constitutional, and also you have to tell the judge it wasn't you driving, and they have to drop it. I don't know. Like I said, I've blown through plenty of red lights with those traffic cams. I've never had a ticket come in the mail. I've never had a ticket that way. And I've blown a lot of red lights because I did it I did it accidentally a couple of times, and then, okay, I accidentally ran that red light, and then, oh, shit, I didn't get a ticket in the mail. Huh, I wonder if those cameras even work. So I started intentionally blowing red lights in the middle of the night when there's, like, no one around. Because fuck waiting. For, like, four minutes when there's no cars and no people around at, like, 3 a.m. Just had to clarify that so people don't think I blow red lights in a populated area. But, yeah, no. No ticket. Never. That's it. Thank you, Vaughn. Appreciate it, homie. Okay, let me clarify it again. I'm not blowing red lights. Like, I stop at it first. I look. I'm like, okay, there's no cars here. And then I go. It's like a red... It's like a stop sign, you know? I would never do that on stream, though. <laughs> I'm sure plenty of people do that, though. Can you drift, Paul? Uh, no, I can't drift, bro. You s used to do this. You still don't do it right. What do you mean? I don't I don't do that on stream though, and I don't do it in populated ass areas. Speeding past the cameras, I've read a ticket. That's what I'm saying, bro. I used to make, you know, those things that tell you your speed limit on the side of the road, and apparently if you go too fast, they send you a ticket in the mail. Bro, I used to try to get the fastest speed I could on those fucking things, and I've never had a ticket from that either. You know, it's like speed limit 65, bro. Let me see if I can hit 120 on this before I, I fucking drive by it, and then it's it shows your speed limit. Never had a ticket. If you don't get tickets because you have nine different addresses in the past two years, <laughs> I mean, most of this is that most of what I'm talking about right now though is from when I was like 18, 19, living in Florida, um, you know, driving my car to my parents' house, so. They had plenty of time to send me tickets there. I said, you see Voldstream? Uh, no, I didn't. Why? 
what happened on it. Those cams are different from the cams I was talking about. Uh, you're going to lose your license. Well, if I haven't lost it now, I think I'm good. Did you see um, who? I don't even know who that is, Laurel. <laughs> Thank you, Kia. I appreciate it, homie. That's why I don't drive, because you don't know who else is driving. Yeah, but you're probably a passenger in a car, though. It's the same thing, right? Vold went to all the places. Did he go to all the places we used to live? That's so funny. You know, somebody messaged me uh, who lives in the mansion now, and they said that they saw my videos uh, because they searched up who was living in the house before then. Lexi's still at the mansion? I don't think so. Is Lexi, there's no way that Lexi is still there. But, um, yeah, somebody messaged me who lives at that fucking house at the mansion now, and they said that there's homeless people going there every day. <laughs> and they, so they searched up, like, why, and, like, my name came up, and, like, they messaged me, and they said, um, like, yo, this shit's weird. And I'm like, yeah, sorry about that. So I thought that was kind of interesting. She's like, why are all these people coming to the house? And I said, I, I don't know, I used to live there. I guess there's an ad, like, there's an ad somewhere. I don't know, sorry. It's fucking old-ass news, but, you know, I guess you probably should get that ad taken down. The old Vince apartment's still empty? Well... DBL, to be fair, no one's paying 8K a month for that fucking townhouse. You know what I mean? I did because that was like a perfect spot for content, but any average person who doesn't want to have content <laughs> and just wants to live, they're not paying 8000 for that fucking place. Do you miss LA? Um... I miss some of the conveniences of it, but not really the city or living there, to be fair. And I would say just acquaintances, really, bro. Have you had Ikerian ramen yet? Um, I mean, I think I probably have. Yeah, actually, I think I have. Yeah, it's just like normal ramen, right? Do you miss the network events? Um... Big events are always nice. In the future, more will come, of course. I love you, Dank. What's up, bro? What was it like having people knock on your window all night? Dog shit. It was the worst experience of my life. Don't ever let it happen to you. <laughs> people coming at a normal time, 2, 3 p.m., sure. People coming at 5, 6 a.m. and waking your ass up, fuck no. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Don't come back. Come back at 2 p.m. Don't don't knock on my shit at 6 a.m., bro. Okay. Fucking don't come. Ask for fucking pictures. Don't come and wake me up at 5 a.m. for that shit. Please come back in at 2 p.m. <laughs> okay. Please. That pellet kid, pellet gun kid is lucky. Who who the fuck's the pellet gun kid? Thank you, salty. Appreciate that, homie. Thoughts on the Twitch girl who threw her cat on stream and didn't get banned? <laughs> um, okay, I've seen the clip. I know what you're talking about. Um, to be fair, I don't know if this is the answer people want to hear. To be fair, I don't think she threw her cat. I think she just, like, I don't know, like, maybe, like, I don't know. Cats land on their feet. That's kind of, like, what they do. So I don't think it was, like... I don't think she hurt the cat. Now, giving her cat the vodka, that was kind of fucked. I'm not going to lie. But the throw, like, I don't think she threw her cat. I think she just kind of tossed it. And, you know, cats are pretty resilient. So, I don't think that clip's that bad. But the vodka thing, I, I don't fuck with the vodka thing. I don't think that that's very good. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, the person you're talking about, I don't really like her. 
She's done a lot of questionable things, so I'm just going to put that out there. Not my favorite. But the throwing the cat thing is, I don't think she really threw the cat. I think she just kind of, like, lightly tossed it. Now, Blade kind of threw it with a little bit more force. It threw the dog with more force, you know? I don't know. It's like a gray area, to be fair, but, you know, I don't know, dude. Without seeing how the cat landed or what was behind her, it's really hard to say. Let me see. <clears throat> Someone with you sounds like there's an echo. But this, no, there's no... I mean, I'm just talking to you from the laptop microphone. That's probably why it sounds like that. Paul, you think you can lightly toss a cat over your head? Like I said, without seeing the full context of the room, it's hard to say. Like, if she had a bed behind her, maybe it's not so bad, you know? I don't know. It's really hard to tell without the fact, or without the context. The fact is, Paul, people are uncovering clips of other streamers tossing their cat in a similar fashion, and they got a ban. Somehow, she isn't being punished. Now, if that's true, then okay. There's a problem there. But, you know, my, my, I think, honestly... Realistic, like, whatever tinfoil hat conspiracy we can come up with, you know, I don't know, but, you know, some Keem, we can come up with some Keemstar shit, sit here all day and come up with some crazy shit, but, honestly, the, the realistic thing that's happening is probably there's a new management at Twitch, and that management doesn't think throwing the cat should be bannable, but in the past, with those other clips, it, in that management, it was bannable either that or she, you know she has a twitch partner manager who can help her you know help uh, explain her side of the story kind of like a lawyer like a defense lawyer all partnered streamers have partner managers that fight for them so they don't so they don't get banned and you know unpartnered streamers don't have that so already partnered streamers have an advantage to not get banned because they have somebody actively fighting for them who works there, as a and she does have that, just like all the you know partners have that. So maybe it's that. Whereas other people who threw the cats, maybe they're not partners, so maybe they didn't have the partner manager, so they just get banned. Twitch has created a monster of inconsistencies. There's no way for them to be consistent with their subjective rules. Unfortunately, that's just how things <laughs> that's just how things are. When there's different moderators at different times of the day, every time somebody gets banned, it's a subjective matter with whether or not that moderator thinks it's bannable or not. You know what I mean? There's no like there's no like set rules set in stone. Because it's, it can't, you know, there's a million different variables that could happen in, uh, in live streaming. It's so hard to have like a set stone of rules without coming off as subjective. Now, is Twitch, you know, inconsistent way too much, even with that set aside? Yeah, I mean, obviously they're pretty inconsistent with their bands. Um, but I'm trying to look at it from like, like, I'm trying to look at it from their perspective, you know? I'm trying to see, like, the re the realistic reason for everything instead of just jumping on a bandwagon. And, you know, that's just what I come up with. Female streamers don't get banned? <laughs> um, I mean, I've seen a lot of female streamers get banned. They didn't ban her because she generates money. All right, let's be real for a second. Alinity generates no fucking money to, for Twitch. I'm just going to be real with you. What does she have? A thousand subs? Two thousand subs? Fucking 1K viewers? She doesn't generate a even fraction amount of money to Twitch. So that's just taken out of the question entirely. You know what I mean? They've banned, they've banned Dr. Disrespect for two weeks for doing something less 
worse than what the internet is portraying Alinity right now. And he got banned for two weeks, and he makes Twitch a fuckload of money. So, I don't think it's a money issue. Do you think John Zerka will be unbanned? I mean, sure, I think he will eventually. No reason to ban him forever. But, I mean, I don't know. We will see, I guess. And I saw, actually, I saw on Twitter, Keemstar put, uh, people getting banned for mentioning Alinity throwing her cat. But it's like, they're not really mentioning it. They're like, I don't know. They're kind of like harassing her about it. Which I get, you know, mob mentality is the internet, I understand. But it is a rule on Twitch to not harass people. So, I mean, I don't know. At that point, I would give them the benefit of the doubt there. To be fair, I don't think they're very consistent with that rule, because I've seen plenty of people get harassed with no ban, but, you know, there's no point to go there. Animal abuse is also one. Yeah, but to be fair, Slater, I don't think Alinity abused her cat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, giving the cat the vodka, that was bad. But the, the cat, tossing the cat, I don't think tossing the cat is abuse. To be fair. You know, I don't think it's a good look. But to be fair, I, I see people do that shit all the time. It's a cat. You know, cats land on their feet. Dude, I've seen Kimberly's cat. My girlfriend's cat has literally jumped. 20 feet off a fucking table or like off of, off like a high ass fucking shelf onto the floor was fine cats are so agile dude so i don't know if i'd say that it's abuse there's an old clip of her kicking her dog <laughs> dude what okay well i i don't know then hey listen i'm trying to like see it from another perspective you know, uh, but, you know, if she's over here kicking her dog, then I don't know. Maybe, you know, I don't know. Then I haven't seen that clip. I don't know what's going on then. <laughs> I feel like people overlook the vodka in comparison to just dropping the cat from lower, what my cat jumps at. Yeah, to be fair, if people really wanted to make a big deal out of it, the vodka clip is probably the worst thing I've seen. The, the, the tossing the, the cat thing shouldn't be used as, like, as the example of, let's get Alinity banned, you know what I mean? She probably blew a staff member. Okay, buddy. Emilio, dude, that sounds like some live stream fail conspiracy shit, okay? Um, okay, let's say Alinity blew a staff member. The other staff who did not get the blowjobs would be like, why aren't you banning this person? She broke the rules. What is he going to say? She gave me a blowjob? Like, no. You know what I mean? He's going to have to tell him another reason why he's not banning her or he's going to get fired. You know, ho like that. hopefully that's how the company works, right? Like, that's how a normal company would be. So, and, you know, so it's like... When people say that shit, it's just like, no, because you're not going to, you can't, you can't defend her not breaking the rules, but then you can't say she gave me a blowjob. So, you know, it, it's just, it doesn't work to be real. Simple. She just blows all of them. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, that's true. But at the end of the day, if I was a staff member and I, some girl, some streamer girl blew my dick, I would still ban her ass because... Like, I don't give a fuck. I already got my nut. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Unless you're, look unless you're looking to get, like, the multiple nut session here. But to be fair, if you're looking for multiple nuts, then you ban her. Then you get the dick suck for the unban. Okay? Why would she suck you if you ain't gonna ban her? Ever. If you're trying to get blowjobs, you ban her. You get another suck. You ban her again. You get another suck, etc. It's a cycle. 
that's how the real that's how it would really go if that was true. Let me see. I got perm banned on Twitch. On my first ban too for saying if anyone touched me at TwitchCon, I would break their nose. <laughs> Teeny weeny, bro. I I believe it. I mean, you. I mean, I don't know. You kind of threatened everyone there. <laughs> I mean, you can't make threats and not get banned. I mean, it makes sense. Maybe if somebody was like, I'm going to fight you, and that was your response, I'd be, maybe you know, then I could see it from your side. Definitely shouldn't be a perm ban, but I could see why you would get a ban. She could possibly be Jeff Bezos' daughter. When did he buy Twitch? Bro, Alinity is not Jeff Bezos' fucking daughter. Are you on drugs? <laughs> What do you mean, dude? Bro. Okay, first of all, she was Jeff Bezos' daughter. I feel like she would be getting, like, on the front page every single day. Motherfucking view. First of all, she wouldn't even be a streamer. She wouldn't have to. Jeff Bezos, you know, will probably give her a fucking bill. The richest man in the world over here. Bro, if I was worth $150 billion, and, bro, I'd be like, here, son, take five bill. Have a fun life. That's how I'd be. Thank you, Giggly. Appreciate that, homie. Thank you for the member, dude. Bro, if I, if I had 150 bill, I would literally stream giving a million dollars away every day for like five years. Because why the fuck not? It's not going to touch my bank account. And I get to feel good about doing something. So, I mean, why the fuck not? You know? It's like, you know, I'd give it a do I would give a dollar away every day. For the next five years on my stream right now, if a dollar was worth fucking anything, you know what I mean. So that's when it when the when the when it gets scaled to a million dollars, if I was a billionaire, yeah, why not? I mean, what a million dollars a day for five years is less is what like a, a bill or something? I don't know. If I'm Jeff Bezos, what the fuck is a bill to me? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Within five years, I'm making another thirty-five bill. So who cares? And then if I was Jeff Bezos, dude, before I die, fucking 50 bill giveaway. Yo, I'll go live, I'll stream, fucking 50 bill giveaway. I don't give a fuck. Everyone, you want you want fucking 50 bill? Do this do this thing, you know? I don't know what it would be, but do this thing, 50 bill if you win. <laughs> Where are you right now? I'm in Japan at the moment. Imagine having all that money, though. Dude, 150 bill, that's... That's quite the life, indeed. That is interesting to say. Dude, you just... I mean, you're Superman. You're a, you're literally God. You're God. You're, you're a superhero. You can do anything in the world. You could fly if you want. Buy a fucking jetpack. You could do anything. You can do anything. You are literally God. Jeff Bezos is God. At the end of the day. If you own more than $5 billion, you are God. You can buy people. You can. Dude, I have put people in my closet on stream for a couple hundred dollars in donations. Okay? I've had people want to be my slave. I've had people want to do stuff out of ridicule for a couple hundred dollars. Imagine what Jeff Bezos can make people do for millions of dollars or even a thousand fucking dollars. Like, I don't know, dude. Thank you, random fuck. I appreciate that, homie. Yeah, Mexican Andy slept in my garden for three days for $4,000. <laughs> okay. I don't know, man. For if Jeff Bezos, if this, dude, he could literally have an army of butlers do whatever he wants. And wouldn't even touch his bank account. No, I didn't say I've, I didn't say I've had slaves. I said I've had people wanting to be my slave. That's what I said, and I denied it because that's fucked. You know, I put people in the closet, sure, fucking content, but no need for off-stream fucking butlerism. No need for that. Honestly, if I was as rich as Jeff Bezos, what I would do is I would build a city. And everyone can live there for free. 
to be fucking honest with you. I would go build a city in the middle of the fucking desert somewhere, Nevada desert somewhere where there's a bunch of land and no houses, build a fucking city for $5 billion, stores, houses, everything, and free real estate. You just live, you know, you can live there for five years at a time, and then it's like, it cycles new people or something. You know what I mean? Don't need profit. Don't give a fuck. I'm Jeff Bezos. I make 50 billion a year. Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? Um... It would literally just be like, I would make it my goal. It'd be like the real life Sim City. It'd be so fun. I'd make it my goal for it to be the best city in the world. I'd make everything super up to date. Fucking 5G internet. Whatever, dude. It doesn't matter. Fucking the best houses ever. It'd be great. Literally Sim City in real life. That's what I would do if I was a billionaire. Play Sim City in fucking real life. <laughs> Thank you, Scuff Live. You appreciate that, homie. Thank you, dude. Or, yeah, fly a bunch of fucking Andes to the moon, make them live on it. Yeah, I mean, anything, really. Like, fuck it. I mean, I don't know. Why not? You can do fucking anything. Would be Detroit 2.0? Well, no, because I'd put... I would just hire a fucking bunch of police officers to, like, stand around everywhere all night, every night. I would send people to the moon. I mean, to be honest, I would probably go to the moon myself. If I had a billion dollars, I would just go to the moon. I wouldn't send people there. Fuck no. I, I want to go. Fuck sending people there. I would go there. I would live stream myself on the fucking moon or on Mars, and I would just stay there for fucking, you know, a week or like a day. Come right back. Be dope as fuck. What happens when you get bored? Well, if I'm a billionaire, I'm taking my fucking satellite internet with me to Mars. I don't care if I have a 20-minute latency. I still have something. I mean, while I'm sleeping, download a movie? Fuck it, dude. Because, I mean, theoretically, you can have internet on Mars. You know, there, it, there would be a large latency unless they put satellites in between, which is totally possible, and one day will be reality. But as of right now, Elon Musk, if he sends people to the moon... He can send a satellite as well, and there can be internet on Mars at a very high latency. And, uh, you know, that's not bad. Somebody could stream from Mars. They would have no chat interaction, but it is possible with a latency. Yeah, I'm going to go I'm gonna go stream the Area 51 thing. I, I mean, I'm not going to... So internet area 51, but I'll try to stream the city itself. Hopefully the city is has good 4G because I know I looked it up online. The city by area 51 has 53 people living there. I don't know if a city with 53 people has 4G, but we'll see. I guess. Elixir just did a video going there. <laughs> well, damn, he's already ahead of the game. If I was a billionaire, I'd make it go so berserk. Get a proper anime adaptation from the manga. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Even if it's a one stream deal, be stupid enough to try. What are you talking about, Neb? The fucking, oh, the Area 51 thing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try. I just don't know if there's going to be internet. I'll be real with you. I don't, I don't know, like, I don't think there's even internet anywhere near Area 51, but we can try, dude. In the next two years, we're going to have worldwide high-speed internet with perfect connection everywhere for like $20 a month. Is that really going to come in two years, though? The Elon Musk uh, Starlink satellites? And if it does come in two years, is it really going to be anywhere in the world, like in the middle of the ocean and shit? Because, I, bro, I would love to do a stream taking a boat from, like, Los Angeles to Hawaii. That'd be dope as fuck. But there's no way there'd be internet that's good in the middle of the ocean. Like, at all. Satellite or not. Like, I I doubt it. That'd be great, but I refuse to believe it would be that good. Because otherwise, why, doesn't other, why don't other companies do that? So they can make more money from, it, from internet? I don't understand. Is Elon Musk just like, I don't care about money, let me just save the world? Maybe that's what he's... Actually, that I guess that makes sense. He's already a billionaire. 
Whereas, like, Verizon and shit want to make money, so I guess it makes sense. Plan for your phone issue? Uh, I'm going to try and find a place to repair it <laughs> while I'm here, so we'll see. Did you see LMS's neural link that connects to the AI to the brain? No, I did not see that. Elon Musk out here saving the fucking world, dude. I'm telling you, what the hell? How much longer are you there for? Mm -hmm. A couple more days. Do you think a lot of people will die trying to raid it? I don't think anyone's going to die trying to... I don't think anyone's going to raid Area 51. <laughs> like, I'm sure if the U.S. government sees a bunch of people going there, they're going to set up a fence that's like five miles clo like farther away than normal. That's electric and guards. Okay, the moment people see electric fence, no one's fucking, like, no one is going near it. I, per I like, yeah, you guys go first. You get electrocuted, knock the fence down, and then maybe I'll go. All right? But there's no way. Maybe a few hundred will try. They, they want nobody. You would, be, you would have to be stupid to try. But the government's going to put something in place so you can't even try. Like, for sure. Yeah, it's just going to be a bunch of fucking weirdos that meet up and are fucking retarded and talk about aliens, but do nothing. That's what's going to happen. They'll just literally block off all usual access roads. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's just going to be a bunch of people meeting up at the closest point they can, talking about aliens. No one's going to try and rush it. No one wants to die. It would be like a World War Z pileup. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's funny. Actually, I do believe, I, you say someone will do it for clout. I believe that. To be honest, I believe someone is so stupid, they get shot for clout. But most people are not that stupid. Because what is clout if you're dead? The, you know, the government, they ain't shooting you in the leg. You're going to die. They're shooting you in the face. So, you know, clout ain't nothing if you're dead. And honestly, if you get shot in the leg and you survive, your clout is going to be what, for a day? one fucking day, and then you have no more clout, you know, it's like, oh yeah, the guy who got shot by the Area 51, like, it's not worth getting a fucking shot at, you know, for one day of clout. <laughs> Your live chat filter has some of the chat, I try to say something about it, uh, oh yeah, let me do that, yeah, I think if you curse, it censors out or something. Elixir already did the Naruto run at Air 51. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> that's, he's already ahead of the game, dude. I promise someone rushes something. He won't be shot in prison for three years. Yeah, if, yeah, enjoy prison if you rush the fucking Air 51, dude. Are we forgetting that rubber bullets are non-lethal means that exist? Uh, I mean... To be fair, if you're rushing Area 51, they're probably not going to use rubber bullets. They're probably just going to shoot you with real bullets. Because that is a top secret military base. And, you know, rubber bullets... And let's just say this. Let's say, let's say 500 people really try to rush Area 51. And they get shot with rubber bullets. And it does nothing. That just sets such a bad precedent... It makes the government look so weak. So the government is going to pull out the big guns so they don't look weak. And they're going to be, they're going to shoot. Someone's going to die. Everyone else is going to back the fuck up. And the government's going to be like, don't try this. That's what the government's going to do. And if they don't do that, it's what they should do. Um, you know, rubber bullets just said, I think rubber bullets sets a bad precedent. You know what I mean? Like, all this, like, non-lethal shit, like, motherfucker, if there's people committing, like, starting a riot out somewhere in, like, the city, and they're, like, looting, and, like, setting shit on fire, and fucking people's cars up, and fucking stores up, and stealing everything, and hurting people, and trying to throw Molotov cocktails at police and shit, bro, don't use rubber bullets. Make an example out of somebody, okay? Everyone else will stop, I promise you. I'm not saying let, you know, have the police open fire on like a hundred fucking people that are rioting, but, you know, I promise you'll save a lot of time and a lot of resources by making an example out of one person 
And you can't feel bad for that person because they were probably looting and, like, causing damage to property and being a, gen you know, just a general asshole. Like, to be fair, if you're over here, if you set my fucking car on fire and you're stealing from my store and you get shot, I don't feel bad for you. Don't fucking do that shit. You know what I mean? Thank you, Ropey. Appreciate that, homie. Thank you, dude. What will you do if the phone can't be fixed? Uh, I'll figure it out, dude. I'll figure out how to... I'll figure the live view out. Ropey over here, being a member finally. What's up, dude? $50 sub. Too bad I can't tell in the chat, dude. Um, what's up, Anthony? How you doing? There should be standard ground for theft. Honestly, there should be. I think. Dude, if somebody breaks my house and has no weapon, and they're only there to steal and not hurt me, I should be allowed to shoot them. They're in my fucking house. Now, the law says you can't shoot them unless they're having a weapon, but I think that's retarded. Thank you, Sam. Appreciate it, homie. But it's like I see all these people that riot. Like, when I see when I see people rioting, and I see the police just standing there, throwing tear gas, and, like, it doing nothing because people have shit over their face, like masks and shit, I'm just like... Like, what a waste of time. They're, they're, as you're, the police are there watching them destroy property, just fuck the city up, and they're throwing tear gas that's doing nothing. While they're being, while the police are being pelted with rocks and shit. Like, no, nah, dude, like, come on. Um, you gotta just, just start fucking, just, just shoot somebody who's being the most evil. You know, if somebody's being, just shoot somebody who's like stealing something. Or fucking throwing rocks at you and everyone else stops. I promise you. Okay, don't sit there and wait three hours and tear gas them when they're still destroying shit. <laughs> You're gonna save the taxpayers a lot of money. Somebody might die from it, but I mean, to be fair, they shouldn't be doing that shit anyways. So I, I feel no remorse for those for them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I don't know. Am I wrong to say that? I don't think there should be, I don't think the police should go easy on people that are breaking the law. I don't know, that's my mindset. I get the whole, like, liberal thing and, like, police brutality thing, but I think that some citizens take that shit to their advantage, and they use it against the police. You know what I mean? I think that a lot of people feel too comfortable uh, with breaking the law. Because they know the police are afraid to do anything. And I think that that creates a very bad imbalance. <laughs> because it makes people not want to follow the law. So they do stupid shit. What's up, Argus? I'm feeling good today. How you doing? You can't kill people for looting, though? Like I said, if you're in a riot and a collective force of people are fucking a city up and you are the person they choose to make an example out of, I don't feel bad for that person. Don't fucking steal. Don't fucking loot. Don't fucking destroy shit and set cars on fire, and you won't get shot. You know, be a fucking... Be a good citizen. Be a fucking human being. Don't be out here protesting about some, some shit and then break the law. Like, that's retarded. The government can do whatever they want. It's okay, but maybe, maybe not, but they can. What do you mean? Media will find a way to portray them as innocent, just being at the wrong place at the wrong time. That's what I'm saying. You know, the media is another issue with the police thing. Like, I don't know. I've seen way too many stories of people and like of the media saying that this person got shot with no weapon. But then you see the video, and they're just, like, being an asshole and trying to fight the cop, so they get shot. I mean, I don't know. Don't fight the fucking police if you don't want to get shot. I don't know. I don't feel bad for that person. I, don't, I also don't feel bad for the people that go around and open carry with their fucking AR-15 with their camera, and is like, oh, the police are harassing me. I have a, my gun out. This is part of the law. Like, you know, that's what a terrorist would say. That's what a fucking mass shooter would say. Hey, don't stop me. Yeah, I have my AR-15 out. So what? It's part of the law, dude. And then the cops would be like, sorry, sir, you're right. Five minutes or fucking 20 minutes later, fucking they're over there shooting out a mall. You know what I mean? That's what a fucking terrorist would say. 
Like, no. Like, uh, you know, I don't feel bad for those people. Go to Okinawa. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's kind of a kind of a flight, though. <laughs> it's kind of far, dude. And then I gotta fly back to Tokyo to get a flight to fucking America again without having to pay an arm and a leg. Yeah, Anthony. A body cam on the police... Body cams are good for the police. Hold police accountable. I totally get it. But also, don't be an asshole to the police. You know what I mean? Are you bringing anyone? And bringing anyone for what, bro? <laughs> oh, let me see. Sorry, I do have my donations off because, you know, it's just like a member chat. This is being filtered at filtered out. Be the first ever live streamer to stream at Chernobyl. They just opened it for tourism, and I would assume they have 4G or faster internet. Yo, I'd be down to fucking stream Chernobyl if they have 4G. I have to do some research on that though. Let me see. Uh, here in Sweden, I haven't seen a real gun in 23 years. Hey, well, Sweden just has a different history than America. You can't get rid of guns in America. It's it's too late for that. There's already guns everywhere, you know? There's not... I don't think there's ever been a gun history in, in uh, Sweden. So, you know, you can easily get rid of guns in a place that's never had guns. Can't do that in America. There's, what, 300 million weapons in this, in this country? 100 million weapons? Did you see that cop that got arrested for planting drugs over 50 innocent people? No, I didn't see that, dude. That sounds awful. That's why body cams are good. Go see it with Exploring with Josh. Yeah, I mean, I did a thing with him before. His fans got kind of pissy, though, because they didn't like my cursing. They thought that I was a little bit too, uh, I don't know, like, not PG enough for them. I remember seeing his video and I did a thing with him when that abandoned hospital. He was his fans were posting on his video saying, This guy curses too much. I don't like him. This guy's a fucking asshole. He's fucking loud and annoying. And it's just like, mm, man, I'm I'm a grown adult. I think I can curse here. Uh, let me see, once you have to go through what perks will the fifty dollar subs have? I mean, hope Ropey, hopefully their names will stand out more in the chat. But I don't know if if an update comes out is the question. Thank you, Kyle. Appreciate that, homie. Didn't you want to get a weapon? Yeah, I mean, I'm totally, I'm totally pro weapon, dude. I'm getting a motherfucking ass shotgun for that for my house, like 100. percent You need updates for different tier of subs. I agree. YouTube needs to cut cut the bullshit and get to updating their fucking chat because it's dog shit at the moment. <laughs> You do curse too much in talking to Japanese people in the stores. I mean, to be fair, I don't think they understand what I'm really saying, though. But I, I feel it. I feel that entirely. But like I said, I don't think they get what I'm saying. Like, I, if they were cursing at me, I wouldn't know. Shotgun training is great anti-anxiety. <laughs> kind of hurts, though. I, it makes, like, a little bruise. They understand fuck. I mean, that's not so... If somebody was, like, cursing at me in, like, Italian, I wouldn't really care. Surprised you don't play Pokemon Go? You'd have some good shit. <laughs> Honestly, I do travel a lot. I, my Pokemon Go account could be massive at the moment, but I don't know. I'm not really. In, I don't care about Pokemon Go. It fucking so who cares? What I actually enjoy is getting stamps in my passport. I probably. Should, I don't know if I should show it or not, but I actually enjoy collecting stamps in my passport. It's like. I can just, you know what I mean? I have so much different shit, dude. And it's pretty neat to, like, be able to collect stamps. Hopefully one day I'll have, like, five pages of stamps here instead of just two. That'd be, I wish I didn't lose my other passport because my first passport that I had, I had, like, I don't know, I probably had, like, two pages of shit. And now I would have had an extra two pages. I would have had, like, four pages of shit. So that's pretty neat.
for all my intimate streams. Yo, Ropey, I mean, I'll check to see if you're actually a $50 sub, and if you are, then, on my dashboard, then I'll, uh, you know, give me your Twitter, I'll DM you, we can talk about some stuff. Um, what's the plan if you don't banned on Twitch? Uh, I mean, I don't know, that's a, it'd be, I'd have to think of something, it'd be a, quite a big plan, I mean, I, I guess I'd do some, like, indoor shit. You know, some indoor streams, some, like, travel streams, but, like, make sure they're controlled environments so I don't get banned again. You know, shit like that. I would do the studio thing so I can control what's going on. <laughs> some RuneScape streams, dude. <laughs> no, if I was on Twitch, I wouldn't just do desktop streams. I would do other things as well, but I would have to just be... I would have to set, I'd have to spend time setting shit up instead of just winging it because I would be too afraid of being banned, you know what I mean? Would you want to go back though? I mean, I definitely would rather go back. Uh, the YouTube platform for live streaming has only gotten worse. You know, when I, when I first came on YouTube, I really had high hopes for them because they told me they were going to update their streaming platform to be better. And it has gotten better, but it's still pretty shit. And they've removed a lot of things that helps the streamer for no reason. Like the trending tab. And the live streaming section. And, you know, fucking making the chat smaller. They did. They made the chat smaller in a new update. Don't know why. Pretty shitty. It's like, sure, they got tiered members now. But you can't even tell who's a different tier member. It's just like dog shit, you know? It's like a fucking shitty ass update. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, why? Like, don't even put the member tiers. Because you can't even tell who the fuck's a different tier. Just don't even put it. So, the YouTube platform for live streaming is so, like, it's just shit, dude. Um... And it's such a shame, too, because they can be, they could be so good, you know, YouTube's a huge co company, they could do, they could be so good, they could have such a good streaming platform, but they refuse to give a fuck about it. Bro, Mixer and DLive are better live streaming platforms than YouTube, and YouTube is the biggest internet company in the world, run by Google, the biggest search engine in the world. And you get, you're getting fucking beat by D Live, you know what I mean? It's 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 just like it's so it's like just such a shame. YouTube can be bringing in monster money or some extra work or streaming. That's, I mean, they could. I, I mean, for real. But I don't know. This too, the company's too big. So they can't update shit, because it's got to go through a million people, so I understand. I get how it is. Thank you, Savage. Appreciate that, homie. You'd make bank on DLive? I don't want to fucking stream on DLive. Because, I, here's the thing, DLive can go out of business at any point. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not, like, I don't, like, DLive is not, like, at least YouTube, I know, not going out of business, you know? So fuck, so it's fine. I would actually stream on Mixer, though. Thank you, Kieran. Appreciate it, homie. I would stream on Mixer. I mean, I'm not going to because I already have a YouTube audience. But, you know what I mean? I would stream on Mixer if I had to. Because it's not a bad platform. I've, you know what I mean? I've seen it. I've made some test accounts on there. It's not a bad platform. But DLive could go out of business at any point. So, yeah, I don't know. It's too small of a company to even try. Thank you, Alberto. Appreciate that, homie. Thank you, dude. Any thoughts on Casey's RV cast? He said today they're going to stop in Austin and going to hang out with you for at least one day. <laughs> well, I mean, listen, I'll say hi to Casey, but I'm going to be real with you. I don't really like any of the other people that are on the RV. You know, like Blade and shit, like I'll say hi to. But like, if he's going to invite people like DJ and shit, like, nah, I'm, get away from me. Stay the fuck away from me. Fucking, I don't care if you, he goes on your shit, just don't cut, don't bring it towards me.
But I'll say hi to Casey. I mean, he's only ever been nice to me. I mean, he has said some dumb shit, but he, you know, he let me use his Corvette and stuff. So, you know, I'll give him the mutual respect, of course. But I don't really want to hang out with his, the people that he's bringing. Most of the people that he's bringing. You know, Bjorn, I'll hang out with Bjorn. Blade, I'll say what's up to Blade. You know, anyone else on the trip? Stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, probably. I don't mean, I don't know who he's bringing, but yeah, probably. Thank you, Venom. Appreciate that, homie. Thank you, dude. Let me see. Uh, I think it's just business reapers, honestly. You know what I mean? I don't think it's like, I don't think it's a personal matter. So I'm not really that offended by any of it. Who is on the RV anyway? I have no idea. I have no no idea. I take it you're not cool at Bone Clinks anymore? You know, I was pretty cool at Bone Clinks. And, you know, I was pretty, like, you know, nice to him and everything. And, you know, he did the CX News and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, Bone Clinks is, at the end of the day, not a very nice person. So I don't really like him anymore, to be fair. I think he's kind of rude um, to the people that supported him, like myself. I gave him a chance. He said, fuck me afterward. So, you know, whatever. So I don't really fuck with him. Gary was probably the best person I just could have brought with him. Yeah, Gary's cool as fuck. Are you homesick, guys? Not really. I mean, I like traveling, so I'm not really that homesick. I just want to see, you know, I want to see Kimberly and my dog. That's about it, though. Let me see. Bone Clinks tried to pander. Uh, yeah, dude, here's the thing. For any streamer out there, here's some great advice. Don't try to pander or don't try to accommodate any, like, sort of toxic behavior or toxic viewers. Because at the end of the day... They're either going to hate you, or they're going to try and fuck with your life. You know what I mean? I mean, listen, we've all got issues. We all, we all got our problems here. But at the end of the day, you should try to accommodate the nice people instead of the drama people. Because once the drama's over, they don't give a fuck about you. So, you know, that's just some advice there. Like, I've accommodated drama people in the past, and that was my mistake, you know? I don't think he ever cared, just seemed like he was trying to grow his Twitch channel. Yeah, but here's the thing, Confused Talk. If you stay friends with the person who can actually help grow your channel, you can grow your channel. If you try to pander to the drama people... You're not growing your channel, maybe for a day, maybe for a week, but not in the not in the long not in the long term, not in the long run. If Bone Clanks was consistently friends with me, he would be growing he could grow his channel so much faster for the long term. It would be a slower growth over the long term instead of a big jump for one day and then dead again. You know what I mean? It's just like you gotta know how to play the game. And some people just don't know how to play the game. And I've played the game. And I'm giving, you know, I'm saying my advice on the parts of the game you probably don't want to do for short-term game. You know, over long-term game. So. Do you think you'll ever live in L.A. again? I mean, maybe, but not at the moment. I don't have any plans at the moment for it. I mean, it's... I was there for three years, I mean... <laughs> I like a change of pace. Are you and Sam going to hang out again? Let me see. Yo, Mr. Cheese, I don't even know who is that. <laughs> hey, Ice, are you going to start doing Reddit recaps again? Yes. Um, actually, I was looking at Reddit earlier, and there's some good, like, there's some good shit about the Mount Fuji stuff. There really is, and I really like that, so... Um, can't really do a Reddit recap on this laptop 
without it being AIDS as fuck, because it's just one monitor with all this shit spread all over the place. But, um, I do look at my Reddit, so just throwing it out there. I probably should just start replying to the threads more. So I'll just start doing that. I'll start replying to threads more with, like, good pictures and, like, nice, you know, good memes and stuff, so. I do want to do more uh, Reddit recaps, though, on, like, my PC with my setup. Thank you, Yarp. I appreciate that, homie. Can you define or expand your definition of toxic a little bit? Um, hmm. I mean, it's pretty vague. I guess anyone who just doesn't give a fuck about you or the, or your quality, it, you know, it, it reflects your real life too. You know, you can have toxic people in a real life, not just on the internet, you know, viewers that don't want the best for the streamer are probably toxic. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it, it, there are some other stuff too, but that's like, I think the core that's the core of it. So, now viewers don't have to care about the streamer. You know, streamers are only entertainment. You know, for most people, who cares? You know, there's, most viewers don't get on a personal level with their viewers. But I suppose it's like uh, anyone who wants drama, anyone who just wants, not only doesn't want the best for the streamer, but consistently only tunes in for the worst. I think those are the. That, I think that's the core of toxic uh, viewers, because that's the core of a toxic person in real life. You know, like somebody you hang out with who doesn't care about you. You should work on limiting how often you smoke. You've puffed on that e cig about fifty times. I don't think. Can, I don't think you can die from vaping though. So I don't know. I mean, I, I think I'm good. I'm, I don't think I'm going to die anytime soon. If I die, I'll definitely, I probably won't be a streamer anymore. Probably be like 50 years from now. You know, even if I chain smoke cigarettes, which is the worst thing to do, I still wouldn't die for like 45 years. <laughs> like probably, right? You know, it, it, I'd probably live to 70 instead of 90. You know what I mean? Take 20 years off my life. What's up, Mr. Status? How you doing, bro? Thank you for the <laughs> for the e-hug, dog. <laughs> I'm gonna give you that hug too. There we go. Fucking hell yeah, dude. Next time I'll give you I'll give you an e blow job, homie. Um, long-term effects haven't been studied on vaping, bro. Believe it or not, people are gonna start dying from vaping like five years. Like that'll be it. <laughs> oh, would that be some shit? Greek said he believes you want to escape the toxic part of your community, but the toxic community doesn't want to let go. Do you agree? Well, I'll put it this way. If you have a girlfriend that you're madly in love with, and then she dumps you, you're probably going to be, you're probably going to wonder what that girlfriend's doing for the next year until you find a new love. And that's how I like to think about it. I mean, if Kimberly were to break up with me right now, I'd probably check up on what she's doing every day for the next year before I get over it. So, you know, same shit, <laughs> honestly. All right, yo, Chris, what's uh, what what's your is your? I'm assuming your Twitter is the same thing as your username on here, right? If it is, then I can see it. If it's not, then you gotta tell me what it is. When's the European RV trip? Bjorn, Marie, Grimoire, Creek, and Chad. Dude, Chad is not European. He's Australian. Did Unlimited IRL used to provide you with the modems back when you used your live view regularly? How come that stopped? I, I don't know. They fucking, I mean, we had a sponsor with them, and, and then, you know, the sponsor ran its course, and that's it. And that's just, that's how sponsors work. I used to be a nine-month sponsor when my channel got deleted. Why, why, why did your channel get deleted? That seems... That's weird. How does, how does shit just get deleted? Let me see. But when you say toxic, you don't mean like burger macing someone, right? 
I think Berger macing someone in the context that he was macing people is pretty toxic. Now, if he maced somebody who was, like, like fucking with him, I get it. That's not bad. But Berger would mace people, like, as, like, a go-to thing. Like, number one thing. Like, I'm gonna mace you, motherfucker. And, you know, I have my taser. But I never would be like, let me pull the taser out on anybody. You know, I, I pull the taser out. If you're trying to fight me, I'm gonna pull the taser out. Get the fuck away from me. You know? Don't physically try to attack me. Or I will tase you. Burger would pull out his fucking mace when somebody disagrees with him. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's your definition of old ice? Hmm, I mean, just, you know, me living in Florida playing RuneScape. I mean, it's not really, it's a pretty subjective, you know, thing. Everyone's got their own definition of, of what the what, of what old ice is. But, you know, coming from ice himself, I would say playing RuneScape back in Florida with living with my parents. Because when I moved out, mentally, I started to have a change, you know. I was like on my own, mentally, becoming more of an adult. So that's when I that's when I changed from old to new, I believe, was, was that mental change of moving out and, like, you know, being more of an adult instead of relying on my parents. But, you know, maybe three years from now, people will say Old Ice is, yeah, in the mansion in L.A. Hey, guys, remember the mansion? I miss Old Ice. Dude, I see some people say that the RV trip is Old Ice, and I'm like... The RV trip, that's like a year old. You know what I mean? I've been streaming for four years. That's not old me. I haven't changed like that much. My morals and the way I stream have changed a little bit. But the way I think hasn't really changed that much. Like, it has, because, you know, hence the moral change. But it's not that significant if you're not trying to look for something bad in me. You know what I mean? Like, if we're just talking on the street, you can't tell. But four years ago to now, you could definitely tell, like, talking to me, <laughs> that I'm a little different. Don't you think some of the toxic people that criticize you so heavily care about you and actually want you to succeed? Who's going to waste their energy criticizing someone they don't care about? Well, that's why I said it's kind of like the ex-girlfriend thing. You know, yeah, if your girlfriend breaks up with you, you're going to probably, ch you know, check up on her for a little bit before you uh, move on. From experience, do you think girlfriends have changed your stream differently and by how much? I don't think so. No, I, I don't think at all. Kimberly has not changed how I stream whatsoever. Kimberly has given me some good moral advice, but that's about it. Um, you know, she doesn't care about my stream. She doesn't, that's not what she's here for. Yeah, Ropey, I, uh, actually, um, have this thing that I just got paid for, so, it was like, a, it's a sponsor, I'm just not gonna, we're not going into any more detail than that. This thing, sponsor, just got paid for, so, yes, I'm going to, uh, I have somebody working and helping me with with the studio thing back at home, Ropey. Yes. Yeah, I heard loved PvP. Vol decided went to every house we lived in. That's quite the... That's pretty crazy. I need to go back and watch it at some point. Let me see. Ice, please be the ice you were in the RV days before. I miss it so much. Unfortunately, Rushed... I was not a very happy man at those times, and I'd rather not go back to those times. I was pretty unhappy, like, you know, to be real, or to be fair. What's up, Joe Rogan? <laughs> What's up, Joe Rogan? How you doing, bro? Thank you for the member, dude. I appreciate it. Let's see. Obligatory. Is that the real Joe Rogan check? Obviously not, but we have to check. There we go. God damn it. To be honest, was the beer pong... Stream Kimberly's idea. <laughs> um, it was actually my idea, and then she helped me think about it. She's like, what if you used milk instead of water? And I said, that's not a bad idea. What 
What, were, what was making you unhappy during those times you were growing quite a bit? I mean, Shrek, I was surrounded by a bunch of people I didn't really want to be around. I just surrounded myself with them for content. I literally put content before my actual life. And I was miserable. <laughs> like, sure, my stream was doing great. And, you know, all was well. But, you know, up here, I was getting a little, a little fucked up. The only thing, the only toxic thing is people going out of the way to fuck with you, but those people are mentally ill. How can you fix that? Um, why did this go off? I don't know. Let's do this. Shit's scuffed as fuck. Um, I mean, there's no fix to it. I just don't, you just have to ignore it. Like, honestly, like, who cares? Yo, can you see me right now, chat? Or is it fucking black? Because I can see myself, but my fucking thing with my, uh, my screen went black. You still talk to Kyle? I mean, I haven't talked to him in a while, but, you know, we're still friends, I believe. What's up, AG? How you doing? You know, this hotel is mad cheap. Like, <laughs> it's, it's like a hundred bucks and you get, it's just so nice. And it's in like the middle of Tokyo. It's just so convenient. America needs to catch the fuck up. Everything is so goddamn cheap in, in, in this fucking place, dude. Uh, no, I'm going to try and, and stream. I'm going to try and fix my phone, dude, before I, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and fix my phone, Ropey, don't worry. What's up, Ice, how your legs feeling? My legs, my butt, my feet, and my back all hurt like hell, but, um, pretty good. I got a tan. I got a nice, I got a nice tan from it. What can I say? <laughs> Let me see. It's nice. I like to see through glass shit in the back. That's to the bathroom. That's the shower. I don't know why they do that. That's retarded. If I'm if I was in the hotel room with somebody and I'm taking a shit, they could see me through that window. I don't like that. <laughs> that is weird. And they should put a blind or like a wall there instead. No one wants to fucking see someone else shitting. Yo, prison. I don't know. So I'm in uh, somewhere in Tokyo right now. So. Yeah, I don't know. I probably gonna be in Tokyo for like uh, maybe like two more days, three more days, and then go to Korea for a couple days. I'm not gonna be in Korea for long, couple days, and then I'll fly back to Austin. And then I want to do a, a thing where I go travel Europe, uh, and you know, see how that goes. I just need to go home first, see my girlfriend, see my dog, hang out for a fucking week or something, and then you know we can go to Europe. Because there's still some places in Europe I need to see that I have not seen yet. Uh, I mean, or I can just work on the office or the studio. I don't really know. It just depends what I feel like doing. You know what I mean? I think I'm going to go back for a week, get the studio in place or something, get some you know employees, uh, travel, and then come back and... Whenever, just whenever I feel like doing it. I mean, I could do the studio at any point, but I kind of, I travel, I like traveling. It makes me feel good. Like I felt, I've felt good, you know, for the past week. Whereas when I was just at home, I wasn't really feeling good. I was just kind of depressed. So, you know, traveling's pretty nice. I don't know. It keeps me feeling good. I don't know if it's like, a, maybe it's just a, like a short term fix or something, but I don't really care. It fucking works. <laughs> What's up, Doc? How you doing, dog? Thank you for the member, dude. I appreciate it, homie. Just, like, one or two, Ropey. That's really it. Just, I need somebody just to help me out. That's all. Are you going to visit Norway? Yeah, I mean, if I go to Europe, yeah, definitely. My goal is to visit every country in the world that has 4G internet. As long as your country has 4G internet, you'll see me. One day. That's my goal. I want to stamp, like I said, I'm, I'm collecting stamps on my passport. I want to have hundreds of stamps. That would be fucking amazing, dude. So, like, I would love to just visit, like, a fucking 200 countries. That'd be great. Be, like, 26 years old. At, in two years, I'm, like, 26. I'll be like, yeah, I've been to every country in the world. That'd be sick as fuck. I don't think Somalia has fucking 4G internet. 
If I can't stream there, I ain't fucking going. I gotta be able to stream. Somalia, I doubt has 4G. Let's be real. Come on. Somalia? Like, bro. They don't even have water. How the fuck they got internet? North Korea does not have 4G. And also, they hate... Listen, I'm not... North Korea is always off the list, bro. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm not ending up like auto warm beer, fucking dead. How many states have you been to? Fifth, all 50 or close? I've been to fucking every state, dude. Almost. I think I'm missing like five states. And those are the states nobody fucking wants to go to. Like Vermont. And Wisconsin. And, you know... South Dakota, like, I I don't need, like, who cares, I don't, like, Mount Rushmore, so maybe I'll go to South Dakota one day, but, yeah, I've been to pretty much every single state in fucking America, dude, except, like, five, and Guam, I need to go to Guam, I'm pretty close to Guam, I'm two hours from Guam right now by flight, so I might go to Guam, <laughs> who knows. You ever been to Mississippi? I don't think I have. I've been to the Mississippi River, but I don't think I've ever been to Mississippi. Alright, yo, Chris, I got you, homie. I do want to go to Easter Island, but I have to go to Chile first. But there's no internet on Easter Island. I've already researched it. So I'd have to go just... I mean, maybe there... I don't know. Maybe just, like, Wi-Fi at the hotel and stuff. There's no, like, 4G on Easter Island, so I would just go there for my own my own thing, honestly. South America is out of the question. I mean, as long as South America has 4G, I would go there. It just depends where, you know, if they have 4G. Like, I would love to go to Chile. I don't really want to go to Brazil, though. Brazil's kind of scary. But Chile is, like, a nice westernized place. I mean, it's in the west, so. Let me see. What's your opinion on the biggest mistake in the past three years? What you learned from them? Oh, man, I don't know. I've already answered this question before. It's just, I don't know, bro. I don't really want to talk about it. Probably just, like, fucking everything regarding Caroline, to be fair with you. Mexico is 4G? Yeah, but... Listen, bro, we're not going to Mexico. Ever. I don't give a fuck. Maybe we'll go to the resort in Cancun. That's it. We ain't going to Tijuana. I don't care, dude. Come to Mississippi, meet some real rednecks. Oh, I've met some real rednecks. Thank you, dude. You think you'll actually move to Japan for a while in the future? Maybe. Maybe for like six months. Why not run a six-month Airbnb? I'm down for that. That'd be cool as fuck. Live in fucking Japan for six months would be dope. It'd be pretty cheap, too, compared to, like, L.A. I mean, Tokyo's mad cheap compared to L.A., dude. People always said Tokyo's expensive. That's just not true. Like, it's more expensive than, like, Arkansas. But it's not more expensive than New York or Los Angeles or any major city whatsoever. I mean, I would say it's a little bit more expensive than Austin. And Austin is so fucking cheap. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can get a four-bedroom house in Austin for $1,200. So, you know, that says a lot. <laughs> it's expensive because it's an island, but Japan's not that expensive that's what i'm saying especially for it being like an island and stuff like no just, it's very cheap you know fucking soda is less than a dollar and it in america at the gas station it's like a dollar fifty <laughs> so i don't know where would you buy a house at i don't know maybe like florida probably florida just kind of love florida good weather at all times of the year no tax no state tax florida's definitely the place to buy a house once the antarctica stream you know they they do have 4g in, Antar in antarctica but it's only at one science base and it's private it's only for the scientists and there's there's no way to get there uh, like unless you take a private plane which i you know you can't do you have to have like a license to go there it's only for scientists so Hey, maybe one day I can just convince the scientists let me use their 4G Antarctica stream. Stream in the fucking camp. That'd be cool for like an hour and they'll get boring as fuck because it's fucking Antarctica and there's nothing to do there. And I can't walk 10 feet from the base. 
Go to Thailand, you can get an apartment two thirty a month, five hundred for a two bed. Yeah, but then you have to live in Thailand, bro. Who the fuck wants to live in Thailand? Come on. It's good, maybe a good place to visit, but I, bro, I'm not living in Thailand. Come on, dude. Like, no, thank you. What, what language do they speak there? Taiwanese? Like, I don't, like, I don't even know. But no, thank you. But uh, all right, guys, I'm gonna go. Fucking. Hope you enjoyed the chill stream. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. FJM. Antarctica is so hard to get to. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Probably. I'm going to go try to find a place to repair my phone right now before it gets too fucking late. And, uh, yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. So, peace out. Love you. And, uh, let, let's see. Let, let's, let's host somebody. I don't know. We haven't done that forever. Let's... Just give someone like a, like a little host here. Why not? Let's see, who do we got? I don't see nobody online. Okay. Never mind. No one's online, so I will, I was going to host somebody like some small like Twitch streamer or something then. But I don't want to do that. Because. I feel like. I'm hated. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. But alright. Yo. I'll see y'all later. Peace out. Love you. And goodbye.